Launch command issued for ignition. Second umbilical tower separates. The second umbilical tower has retracted. You can see the engines firing now, going up to flight speed and liftoff. Shane Kimbrough, Sergei Rizhikov, and Andrei Borisenko blasting off from Kazakhstan, making their way towards the International Space Station. Seconds. Getting good calls from the teams out in Baikonur. Everything looking nominal or normal throughout the flight so far. The first stage of the Soyuz delivering, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from those four strap-on boosters and single core engine. Second, first and Things second. looking fairly calm inside for the crew members, which are now rocketing over the Kazakh steppe. The first stage measuring 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's going to be burning that liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Seventy seconds. Already 70 seconds into the flight velocity of the craft, now over 1,100 miles per hour. The next major milestone will be the jettison of the escape tower, that coming at about 114 seconds. Again, you're continuing to get live views inside of the cabin of the Soyuz spacecraft, already well in excess of 1,000 miles an hour, rocketing towards space. Uh, One minute, 45 seconds since liftoff. Continuing to get good performance calls from the uh, ground engineers in the launch bunker. All of the different parameters on the Soyuz uh, rocket continuing to look nominal or normal. First stage separation. And so the first stage, those four strap-on boosters at this point have been jettisoned, completing their job and dropping away. The Soyuz already at an altitude of about 28 statute miles, traveling in excess of 3,350 miles per hour. Again, the core stage, uh, or the second stage, is going to continue to burn. Getting confirmation the launch shroud has been jettisoned, that protective shroud around the Soyuz spacecraft. So the spacecraft itself, you can see some light coming in the window uh, just over Borisenko's head. Launch shroud. Yes. So the Soyuz now exposed. The second stage continuing to fire. 170 seconds and second stage thruster is operating nominally and the crew is feeling good. Everything looking good with the second stage as we cross the three minute mark. So he's now traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles per hour. And the core stage performing as expected. It's 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. That single engine with four fuel chambers providing between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on where they're at in the Earth's atmosphere. Getting a wave from Shane Kimbrough there in the right seat, making his first flight into space on this Soyuz spacecraft. Second stage going to continue to burn until the four minute, 43 second mark. At that point, they're gonna do what's known as a hot stage where the third stage will ignite while the second's still burning. Uh, this is why the Soyuz has that small open grating area in between the second and the third stage. Just past four minutes into the flight now, continuing to get good calls, everything looking normal with this ascent. Again, the whole process today, gonna take about eight minutes, 45 seconds from that liftoff until the Soyuz is in its initial orbit. 250 seconds and uh, YPR uh, nominal and uh, everything nominal on board and the crew is feeling good. And standing by shortly for the ignition of the third stage and the jettison of the second. Yeah. 
And with that, the third stage ignition confirmed. The core booster now separated in an altitude of over 105 statute miles. So with that third stage single engine now providing 67,000 pounds of thrust burning for four minutes and two seconds and is going to deliver the Soyuz into its initial orbit. The crew is feeling good. Three hundred thirty seconds and third stage thruster is operating nominally. Everything nominal on board. The crew is feeling good. Copy. Three hundred fifty seconds, nominal flight. Everything nominal on board. The crew is feeling good. It's already been over six and a half minutes since liftoff, which happened right on time at 3.05 a.m. Central Time, 2.05 p.m. over in Baikonur. Everything with the rocket has gone flawlessly so far. The first stage separating on time, the second stage separating as well, now powered by that single third stage engine. This is going to continue to burn until about the 8 minute 45 second mark, so about a minute and 40 seconds from now. And then once the third stage delivers the Soyuz into its initial orbit, the module separates. It'll execute all of those pre-programmed commands to prepare it for all of its on-orbit operations, extending the solar arrays and all of the necessary navigation and communication antennas. On board, the crew is feeling good. We copy. Four hundred sixty seconds. All parameters are normal. And the crew is feeling good. And everything nominal on board. Copy. Four hundred and ninety seconds. Thruster operation stable. The crew is feeling good. Everything nominal. Five hundred and ten seconds. Five hundred and twenty seconds. Seeing the telltale jolt and getting confirmation the third stage has separated, so use now flying free. Already getting confirmation the solar arrays have deployed. Sounding like the navigation How antennas as well. How do you read? Getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer here in Houston. The solar arrays and all antennas now deployed. So use ready for on orbit operations. 11.40. We will be present. So right now, the spacecraft orbiting at an altitude of about 143 miles by 118. This orbit is going to be raised systematically over the course of the next two days 
as they begin to chase down the International Space Station. But for now, three crew members safely in orbit, a flawless ride uphill, and a Soyuz spacecraft ready for operations.